Mr. Fields. Mr. Chairman, Commissioners, uh, the item before you is a contract with uh, Condrian Associates to conduct a physician classification and compensation pay study. Uh, the last review and maintenance uh, conducted on our uh, current compensation and pay study was done in 2007. Uh, this study will review our pay system in its entirety and provide suggestions that, uh, as to how to remedy and maintain the system into the future. Um, the contract itself was pretty straightforward, and if you have any questions, I'd be more than happy to address any items. There also have been some adjustments made to the contract, most of them language-wise by the county attorney, so it has been reviewed, and uh, those will be handed out if they haven't already. Anyway. Uh Yes, I uh, had a couple questions. Uh, I really, you know, I've been an advocate for you know, salary surveys and people get paid properly and so forth. Um, in regards to uh, Dr. Country, I know he's a well-respected HR professional and so forth, uh, and he has retired from the call visit to the government. Uh, I was trying to figure out the difference between the cost that it would take for call visit institute for government to do it versus his firm, which is at what, 25,000? As far as the relationship between those two particular items, I might pass that one on to the county manager to answer that. The, uh, <clears throat> the cost that we have been presented by Dr. Connery uh, is less than what was charged previously when we were doing this and he was with the Institute of Government. Uh, we have, uh, as you know, been involved with Dr. Condry not only here in our county but also uh, the city of Valdosta has used him extensively and because I think of his experience and his knowledge and background of our community uh, as well as the comparison that he does not only with the uh, other counties and the cities of comparable size but also with the um, private sector uh, that would be my recommendation for uh, the board's consideration. I appreciate it. I just, I just wanted to know, I know Carl Vincent is to the government generally does it, and you know, the nonprofit and team to be seen as more objective, but I know Congress is well respected in that field. Uh, the next question, specificity. Uh, uh, will the job descriptions in, in essence have more specificity? I know uh, some of them currently have knowledge commonly associated with, uh, I guess it's my opinion that it's either some requires a high school diploma or, or requires a degree or not. You know, say like a degree in engineering or a degree in so and so. Would, would, would that be included, I guess, in this study? Uh, it, it would be. Based on his experience and his knowledge across the state, uh, not only would he be looking at each one of those aspects, he'll actually be sitting down with every department head as well as constitutional mm -hmm. officer to further discuss the nuances of each position. I guess you almost answered the third question I had. Uh, I wanted to know, was this study going to include all county employees, meaning the constitutional officers such as the sheriff department, clerk of the court, and all of them? Is it going to include, say, even the board of elections and so forth? It'll include in its entirety, everybody that receives. The hybrid employees as well, I guess? Sir? The hybrid, I know some are, are hybrid considered uh, employees. Anybody who receives any type of uh, pay in our pay scale, and everybody that's hired under Lowndes County will be included in that. So that's every constitutional officer or board that's included. Okay, sounds good. Yeah, the question. I have a question, Mr. Chair. I notice the budget impact is $25,000. Is that something just coming out of your annual operational budget, or is this something that we need to appropriate from contingency or some other place? This will be paid for out of contingency. Any other questions? Okay, I'll uh, move on.